I am part of a school of artists called the Reflectionists. We have adopted a philosophy that the laws of attraction in the universe apply to all of us. In other words, what you put out is what you get back. It's as simple as that. It's taking the energy that you're surrounded by and translating that energy into art. That's all that reflectionism is. It's completely different working in the studio than it is performing before an audience. When you're doing a live performance, it's all about the energy of the moment. That is true reflectionist art. In a live performance, the energy comes from all the senses. First of all, it comes from the people. The people that are there provide the human energy. That's where it all begins. And then we go into the senses. We have sound, music, live music preferably, incense, so that all of the senses start to become stimulated and be put into motion and emotion. When I found painting about 11 years ago, I loved the color of painting, but I immediately wanted to bring it into the third dimension. I happened to notice one night when I was first starting, I had put my paints on the palette, and they actually formed small mounds of, of paint, which to my mind, in my eye, looked like colored clay. And so I started to think, well, Wow, I wonder what would happen if I grabbed up some of this clay-like material and put it on the canvas full strength. And so I simply grabbed an old knife I had laying around, didn't even know what a painting knife was in those days, grabbed a piece of paint and just slapped it on the canvas, whack. And I'll never forget it, I put that full big glob of paint on the canvas and it stuck exactly like I applied it. And <laughs> I said, this is interesting. The kids are astonished. They absolutely love to watch. They're tapped into the movement, the color, every bit of the experience. They bypass the filters that we as adults tend to put in front of things. Color, music, excitement, life, love, energy. Those are the things that kids respond to.
Life is multidimensional. Why shouldn't oil painting be multidimensional as well? In other words, 3D oil. Thank you.